Welcome to the Yuma Gardener. Uh, today is Monday. Um, I think it's the 20th. I'm not sure the date. <clears throat> Since I retired, it's hard to keep up with things like that. But anyway, I'm at uh, my friend's house and this is part two of setting up a container. So we're going to start and I brought a few things with me. Uh, so that we can enrich her soil. I hope you've watched part one, and I said I was going to learn a lot in part one, and boy did I. Um, so I had to do a lot of editing, but that's okay. Uh, it's good to learn new things. So this is um, my kitchen uh, uh, scrap box. I keep it in the refrigerator. And when it gets full, I take it out to the garden. It's got some of everything in here. And uh, you just uh, wash it out and uh, start all over again. Uh, this is a uh, more, it, I forgot to bring it in the house and it's kind of got soft on me. I think I have two more, two more of those. Those, three more, bad me, but good for the soil. So let's see, I brought some other goodies for this particular project. And I'm gonna do, I do just things a little different. You know, you always have to do something different each time because if you keep doing everything the same way over and over again, it's just gonna get boring. And I love gardening because you can be creative with gardening. Um, I'm not gonna take credit for how I set up these totes. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and one person in particular, and that's uh, Gary, no, it's Robbie and Gary Gardening Easy. They actually make gardening fun and they have different ideas about things and they do things, I, I like the way they do things. So she gardens in containers also and uh, that was just some watermelon rind I put in there. And um, so I would like to give her credit for helping me come up with the design ideals for these uh, growing containers. So I'm putting in the uh, garden uh, scraps, the, the kitchen scraps. And she uses cardboard toilet paper rolls. But I, I think she put her hers in, her paper in, um, I don't know, in the bottom, towards the bottom. But they're still gonna break down. So now this is the question because in my garden, I put uh, shredded newspaper. But I'm gonna put this in here like, uh, like rolls. Um, and I'm not gonna open them up and I'm not going to shred them. They will take more time to break down than if I had shredded them. But that's okay if it takes more time. So let's take a good look. What can you see? This is what we have in, in our container. And it looks like it's half full, but that's not, uh, that's deceiving because everything I just put down 
put in there is going to um, compress and is the it will bring the soil level down so instead of a half a bag of the um, off name brand materials i am going to put a um, i am going to put that other half bag on top of this. Still have an extra half bag of the off brand. Yeah, so we just put that on top. And it looks like it's clumpy, so. I need to spread it out and break it up. Okay. And now for the the, the uh, topsoil, which is Miracle Grow gardening mix, we're gonna put that on top. And I have my scissors, <laughs> so I don't have to go somewhere to. To find the scissors, like I still have the scissors right here, and you can't see me, but I'm cutting the miracle grow bag open. And I'm gonna pour half of that miracle grow in this dish pan. And the reason I'm putting it in the dishpan, because I have some additives. I wish I had my gloves. <laughs> if I was at home, I could just be tough and get my gloves. That's the advantage of living in a tiny house with a tiny garden, everything is handy. So, additives. The first thing I want to put in is worm castings. And this is like a um, fertilizer and it's very, um, it's organic. Do you know what worm castings are? Yeah. Well, it's the leftovers after the worms have gone poo poo. That's what it is worm poo poo and I'm putting my hands in it. <laughs> okay. Don't you love gardening? Mix that in. And also I'm going to put in some perlite. And this is to improve. This is perlite. I'm going to use Miracle Grow Perlite. And it is to improve um, drainage and aeration in potting mixes. So it's also enriched with miracle Grow plant food. Helps prevent soil compaction. So that's something you have to be concerned about growing in. Careful not to breathe while you're doing that because it puts off the flowers. Okay, now when I mix this in, I'm 
Miracle Grow is good, but adding a few extra ingredients to it just makes it better. So I am pouring this in. And I'm gonna spread it out. And this container looks like it's full, but I need to water it and that's gonna bring it down some. And we'll see if we need to add more topsoil after I give it a good water. Now one of the things that I haven't done yet is put the holes in. So I'm gonna put some holes in this coat um, so that it has good drainage. Uh, but right now, I just wanna make sure that we get everything watered really good. Um, if there's too much water, when I put the holes in it, then the water will drain out. I'm not worried about that at all. But you know, when you water soil, potting soil, whatever kind of soil, it um, may look wet on the top, but it's not, it's, when you reach down in it, it could be bone dry. So it takes time for the soil to absorb the moisture, the water. And that's why sometimes we add these additives to help keep the soil moist. Um, the, the contents of this container are definitely sinking and that is to be expected because we have a lot of loose matter in there. And I know uh, some people say, oh, you can't put your holes to an inch up from the bottom because your plants are gonna be soggy. And um, that's not true, because you saw when I put the, um, uh, the wood, cut wood in there, that's at the very bottom. And that's gonna take a very long time before that uh, wood uh, decomposes. And also, there are twigs and branches, and this is going down, 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 which is good. I put in some drainage holes. And as you can see, the water is draining out both of the holes that I put in these uh, containers. And because I put the gems under the container it just slightly um, tilts those shims slightly tilts the basket the, the container so that the water so that it will have good drainage and you, like I said, you don't need to worry about having the holes at least an inch up because the um, material that's in the bottom will actually protect the plants. The plants' roots are not gonna go down that far.